listener. Anthony, uh, we did an episode on uh, No Reservations. And, uh, and then he asked me to do a roundtable at the end of his first season of uh, Parts Unknown. Uh, and then on top of that, he was uh, on the writing staff of Treme, right. the show I did with HBO. Um, uh, Anthony was someone who could go anywhere at any time and any place and connect with people and really connect into their humanity. Uh, he's one of those people that when you were with him, uh, you felt like you were the center of the world because he was so interested and focused on you and whatever we were looking at or eating or whatever. Uh, he was able to bring to Treme one of the first times any sort of examination in fictionalized television of what it's like in the culinary world. Uh, unique, uniquely a part of our show on Treme. Uh, and he was beloved. And how that culinary world tied into the locale that, that, that it was based in. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, the culinary world of New Orleans, the musical world of New Orleans, the architecture, all of that is very important, and no one had explored it like that. They actually really had never explored the culinary world in any city like that. And to have a character go between New York and New Orleans, you got a little taste of both uh, of the worlds, and it was because of his, uh, that's what he brought to the show, a real expertise of understanding the world. Um, and it's moments like this where you just wish that, uh, that someone who's in pain he had to be in a great deal of pain that uh, as much joy uh, and capacity of joy that he had for himself and for others, you wish that in that moment of pain that you could reach out. Um, the actor is always impulsive, you know, in the darkest moment. And that impulse is so fast and so impactful when the joy that he brought to so many people was in a far outlast that one moment. And so that's the thing that I try to think about on a day like today. Uh, Absolutely. He introduced people to so many things, be it food, music, yes. uh, movies, you know, oftentimes his episodes yes. were based off of when he went to a certain locale, he would base the look off of that, off of a movie. And you could just imagine people hearing him say, oh, Christopher Doyle, Hong Kong, I should go watch these movies by Wong Kar Wai, which could lead Absolutely. someone to watch Jean, Jean-Luc Godard. You know, he's a, a gateway drug for, for so many things. Yeah. And, and I think literature, yeah. art, just all of that. You know, we, the reason we make art is the forum where we collectively reflect on this journey declare what our values are, and then act on them. And he supplied that platform for so many people. I'm telling you, today, most people are thinking about, let me watch these shows, and let me go on those journeys that he took us on. I want to go that. I'm going to put all of these places on the list of places that I have to go now. And I think that's the best way that we can honor him and honor his memory.